What's going on everybody? This is Al from PlaybookGamer.com and in the last Dynasty video we played our first game of the season and of the Dynasty against Western Kentucky. One of our rivals. It was a pretty wild game. Most of our points came off special team plays. So we didn't get to do much offensively and our defense struggled and that's going to be a theme for the next couple of seasons until I just get better players. But we did get the win, so we're 1-0, and today we're taking on number 13, Purdue. This is one of our two ranked games. We got them in Louisville. We can look here at how talented Purdue is, B-plus overall. They haven't got to play a game yet. I know all their talent is, they got two impact wide receivers. They're going to pass the ball quite a bit on us today. There's really not much else to see. You know, when you're not doing any in-season recruiting this season, uh, these videos could go by fairly quickly because we're not doing a whole lot here. We will be down the line, though, whenever we can get up to a two-star program so we can start recruiting some three-stars. But until then, there's not much else we could do. So we can go ahead and take on Purdue. Now, if you remember last game, we had one player get in trouble. We suspended him for two games, technically three because the odds of us beating Purdue or Kentucky are going to be very slim. So we got to take advantage of that and lower that discipline bar as best we can. And thankfully, we had one guy get in trouble. Hopefully, we can maybe get a couple other ones this year so we can really lower that bar so we can use those points somewhere else, especially recruiting in the offseason. I'd love to have somebody, probably one more person get in trouble today. That way we can suspend it for the next two games. And here we go. We got an extra person. Hopefully it's nobody special. Okay, Paul Dickerson. I don't know if he's our number two corner or three. I just, I'm not used to our, our roster yet. We can see what he's done. Dickerson broke curfew by almost two hours this week. Oh, gosh. Let's punish him for life. A few students spotted him downtown hanging out with some friends. Okay, now that's not a big deal whatsoever. Normally I wouldn't punish him too hard. But as you can see, our NCAA team interest bar is still just getting high. So we're going to go up to two-game suspension because we'll probably need him for that San Jose State game. So let's go ahead and do that. Now, that also means that, you know, Nickel was our best uh, base package because we had the corners to do it. Now we got one guy out for the next couple of games. So, we'll still go, I guess, between 4-3 and a nickel. It's going to be a struggle regardless. But at least we got him suspended for a couple games. So that got the bar down to about half. The problem is every time somebody gets in trouble, the bar goes back up. So, it's almost like you're, you can't keep up unless you really blast somebody. And I may have to do that at one point during the season. We'll see. But we got to win games first and foremost. That's why we want him back for the San Jose State game. All right, we're going to have a lot of rain. I don't know if that's going to help or hurt us. We're going to run the ball a lot. we got to run clock as best we can. We could do that in the passing game, but we can't have any drops or go out of bounds, so that's kind of tough to do. The goal is to not get injured in this game. They got a pretty talented QB as well. I mean, they're very talented. I mean, they're 13th in the country, if that tells you anything. Heavy, heavy rain, though, it looks like. I've never seen it that foggy before. That looks pretty heavy. I guess it's a night game and it's raining. That's probably why it looks that way. Okay. Uh, looks like they won the toss. They won the ball first, which is fine. The wind's going sideways. So let's look at our roster. I did not change the defensive end situation here. I still want to put, we're going to put the other Jamil Owens right here. And then we'll get the other guy, Thomas, right there. I may have another one. Maybe I don't. Either way, there's our situation at defensive end. And I'm going to have to do the same thing in the next game. I just don't want to do it outside of the game because otherwise I would forget to put this guy back in <laughs> once he was eligible to play. So let's go to our cornerback situation, and he is our number two guy. I mean, it is what it is. But 
our corners are still better than some of our linebackers. If you look at our outside linebacker, you know, situation, we got one okay one, but our line, middle linebacker and the other outside linebacker it's just not very good. Looks like 68 speed, 68 speed. Okay. So it is what it is. So we're still going to keep everything the same, more or less. At least we can get a little bit of speed out on the field by playing a little extra corner or two. All right, let's go back and look at their roster. Okay. Really good quarterback, can run a little bit, but he's going to throw more often than not today. I don't know if I'm going to try to blitz him or not. I don't know if it's worth it. I want them to take up as much time as needed to get a touchdown. I want to keep everything in front of us. The more plays they call, the better chance they may turn the ball over, stuff like that. Plus, just having them scoring quick doesn't help us much at all. They got a couple good halfbacks, but their bread is buttered at the wide receiver position, as we will see here. There you go. Two impact guys. I love this guy right here, Kyle Ingram. Uh, he's out for three games. I didn't even pay attention to see if they had anybody out. But he's out today after three games. But they got, you know, they got bodies behind him. It's not going to be a big issue. Pretty good tight end. Of course, their line. Just looking here. Everybody's in. Their offensive line is actually not all that great. I, I guess that's what separates those type of teams from the really good ones. They, about any team could go get an impact player like at a skill position. But when it comes to a solid offensive line, that's usually what separates the, the playoff team. To caliber teams compared to teams like this. They run a 4-3. I've played them enough to know that. they got a really good defensive end, impact guy. Pretty good front four. Just looking at their linebackers, not bad. Everybody seems to be in the 80s. We got a 78 overall free safety. Really good strong safety. A really good kicker and an average punter. But it is what it is. All right. Let's see if we can pull off some magic. But again, the goal is not get anybody injured to just try to get through this game. It'd be cool if you could pull off the upset, but that'll be hard. And we're going to do a high kick. Hopefully he doesn't... Re That's what we want to do. We're going to give him good field position, but at least they won't return the ball. We're going to try a zone blitz. I'm pretty sure they're going to throw the ball all day on us. So I'm going to just take a gamble and just... Do a lot of zone blitzing until it doesn't work, and we'll just stay in quarters all day. That's a good start. Get a sack there. We're going five wide. We'll just go nickel. That's all we can do. We can't go dime real. We, I guess we can. And I done something there. Didn't mean to do that. Do our bump and run. Good stop there. So now it's third and long. It's what you want. We'll do a cover three cloud. I'll control a defensive end, and maybe I can get to the quarterback. Oh, wow. That's good defense. Good job by the – it was either the core or the safety who got a hand on it. All right. That's a good start. Don't know if we'll get to see that again the rest of the day, but that's okay. We're not going to be able to do much audible-related stuff today. Ooh, that's a good little cut. Just because we're on the road, that'll be kind of tough. We can try. Let's just do a run play out of the gate. We're going zone. 4-3. Let's see if they do any hard shifting. We'll probably just run to our left here. Just not a whole lot there. Plugged up the gap pretty well. Let's... Oh, well we can go ahead and throw the ball if I can find it. Where's that? There it is. We do mid-attack. It's like we're going zone. We'll probably throw this to Biggers. We'll let the clock run a little bit. Before we got a third and long situation, now when it comes to third and long, I'm not going to do anything crazy. I may just run the ball and punt it. Let's see what happens here. Well, it came to me real quick. My halfback got in the way. That was kind of weird. So it's third and ten. I just don't know if it's a good idea for me to 
Uh, let's do something safe if I can. Let's try this. Let's go PA flat choice. We're going zone. If they go cover three or cover four, I could probably give it to my tight end. Otherwise, I may just throw this away on the rollout. Yeah, I'm not seeing anybody open. And I may have stayed in bounds. I may have been helpful. Can we keep the clock running? I, yeah, okay, I must have got out of bounds. All right, we'll punt it. I was hoping my tight end was going to get open. I was going to just make a safe, easy throw, and it just didn't work out. And I forgot to do my sky punt, so we'll do this manually. There's a sky punt play in this game. I just forget to use it. I need to get in the habit of using it. They're going to get amazing field position, but I just don't want him to return it. And he <laughs> he was going to take a chance anyways. All right, we'll go back to defense. Now, unfortunately, audibles are kind of a big deal in my offense. So it's going to be kind of tough on the road to run my full offense. That's why I'm not a big audible guy. If I would turn HFA off, I'd be all over. The problem with, I could stop the play right here. Let's just pause this. Let's talk about it. Home field advantage, you can turn that off and then you can run all the audibles and hot routes you want, especially on the road. The problem is, if you turn that off, you do not get any in-game boost. Like, for example, you go to in-game strategy and go to death chart. I don't know if it'll show it for anybody yet. Nobody's played enough. There we go. Here's a good example. Like this plus three. If you turn home field advantage off, you would never see these in-game boosts, which tells me that you will never see anybody on your team get any better during the season if you turn that off. I could be dead wrong, but that's how players get better is they get these in-game boosts during the games. And then over time, they'll just get better ratings in general. But if you turn home field advantage off, you're not going to see any of that. If that didn't affect this right here, I would turn home field advantage off and then I could really open up the playbooks in SMA 06. I would do a lot of cool hot rat stuff. Throw in some audibles, you know, different do different types of audible schemes and whatnot. But that's why I don't do that. I'm a fan of hot rats and audibles. Don't get me wrong. But when you have home field advantage turned on, it kind of limits what you could do with it. It, it is what it is. Somebody could correct me on that in terms of the in-game boost. But it just, you know, it is what it is, unfortunately. Okay. Just wanted to point that out. The Boilermakers. Set up in the gun. All right. Yeah, that was my bad. I probably should have stayed over there. They pretty much ran mesh. Everybody and their brother runs mesh these days. Yeah, the quarter is halfway over. Going to play action. Ooh, man, that was so close. I thought I had a chance at an interception. Okay. We'll get back on defense. I'd like to try to get a few first downs today. That'd be nice. I don't know if they're going to let me or not. And our passing game is going to be a bit of a struggle. It just We're going to have a struggle on everything for the first couple of seasons. But you just make do. But against a team like this, you don't worry too much about that. If you can get some gains on a team like this, then you'll feel pretty good about yourself. All right, let's see if Galshaw could do something here. Eh, probably could have went to the outside on that one. Let's see. Number five, let's go four. Let's, I want to do another pass play. I have it on my mind. Let's do tight end corner and our going zone. And... I picked the wrong one. Looks like Whitaker will touch this one. That's okay. I want to see if Eldridge can make some easy throws. And we stayed in bounds. Good little play. We had just good enough protection to make that work. I want to go back to Ace Trips and we can do... We'll do dive. No, let's do a toss play. 
They're going zone 4-3. They may zone us to death. So far, they've done nothing but zone. They're doing a hard shift in that way, so we'll just run to our right. I should have gotten the first. And we got the first. Now we could try, let's do halfback dive from I wide trips. Now they're going man. We may look out and they do some hard shifting that'll help us. There we go. That's not a bad shift. So we can run to our left. We can continue to run a little clock. Now we're going up against an impact defensive end on the left. So I don't know if this will work, but we'll see what happens. Get it down to a couple seconds. And not bad. Get about four yards out of it. Yeah, I want to go back since we're on the left hash. We're going to do the triple wide receiver option, but they're going zone, so I may just hand this off. Plus, they're going dime. So we got the numbers in the box. So it's I think it's in my best interest to run up the middle. Now, if they were going cover three or cover four, you could keep that. You could probably get a decent gain. But I'll just play it safe for now. And my left guard just got blasted. All right, third and six. And I think I had a couple... I don't remember. I thought I had a couple sub packages I was supposed to use. We'll do halfback circle. We're going man. I don't know if he can make this throw to the left. We're going to try to hit the comeback route. We're going to try to go to Biggers. Hopefully we get good enough protection. And a sack. There's no time whatsoever. There's no, we couldn't do anything about that. You can go back and look. Left tackle got beat. And I, I, I rolled into him. That didn't help either. I could have rolled up to the right a little bit. Probably saved myself a little bit of time. But, so that was, I guess that was my fault. Okay, let's try that sky punt. There's a top. There it is. Sky punt. That way you don't have to do any manual adjustments pre-snap. Punt it with a few seconds to go. He should fair catch that. All right, the quarter's about over with. If we can survive one more down, that'd be nice. And we'd only be down a touchdown. Ah, oh, dang it. It's right there. I'll get those eventually. All right, end of the quarter, down a touchdown, but they're on their way to score. Maybe he could keep throwing in my direction and I could pick one of those off. That would be nice. And there you go. We got an interception. Nice. A guy was able to get in the way. They ran that same play as before. They ran that mesh concept. And I hit the crossing route. Okay, we're on the right hash. I actually want to attempt a deep shot if we can. Let's go PA scene. We're going zone. So what we're going to have to do, we're going to have to motion. One of the few times we'll motion this season is we're going to motion Galashaw. We scored a touchdown on this last time. Last game. Nice. First down. Good catch. He went cover two, so I figured he'd be open. The tight end distracted the safety as well. It's first down. I'm trying to think what we haven't called. Let's go here and do another run play. We're going to do halfback a lead. We're going zone 4-3. They're spreading out that way. Probably run to the right. Maybe we could find a hole. This is one of the cool things about all this crazy shifting. Maybe you can look out and get something up the gut. Yeah, not a whole lot. Sometimes you can find a gaping hole up an A gap or a B gap. Okay, let's go here. 
and let's go with halfback streak. And we'll do a pass play. We're going zone. I'll play this safe and just go to our little zone hitch beater in Whitaker. Get it down to a couple seconds. Oh, wow. We almost got the first down. Wasn't expecting that. Wow, first and ten. Good deal. Okay. Uh, let's go ahead and... Let's do another dive play. We're going to flip this. I need, I need to go back and look at this. I'm actually not a fan of having Lane as my right hash. He's a, there's he is at left hash. I need to switch these guys. Let's put Odoms here and then let's put Lane there. Makes me want to run that formation a little bit more with Lane. So switch them over like that. All right, they are going man. And I love the shift. This is why I'm calling this stuff. The C shifts like that. That could be to our advantage. And we get about six yards there. Now, I want to go back here. Now, it's second and four. And they're going zone and they're going nickel. We'll probably just run this again. I wanted to take a chance at a man beater. But we will hand this off. Let's see, then we'll have a manageable third down. Eh, just no, nothing there. My left guard's getting blasted, so I may need to treat that one as an audible. I'm going to run the ball, though. It's third and five, and they're going man. Just don't shift hard to the right. We may have a chance. If we can get decent blocking, we're going to run some more clock. Now you see why I want to run clock. I'm only down a touchdown, and the... Half of the second quarter is almost up. Get a block there. Good deal. Stay in bounds. That's a perfect play right there. All right, good deal. We can go back and look at this. We had the numbers advantage to the right, and they were going man. So, And the other reason why is this. There's a good chance, since they're playing man, the guy who is supposed to cover our halfback is this guy right here. Now, it's going to be very hard for him to run all the way across the field to make a tackle. We're making him work really hard for it. It's either him, this middle linebacker, or this free safety. It'd be even better if it's the free safety. He has even more field to cover. But it worked out here. I couldn't tell who's on him. I think it was this linebacker, and look what happened to him. He got blocked. So no wonder we got a good gain out of it. Great block by the fullback. That's what really got it going was this fullback right here. Getting a block right there on the safety. And it's off to the races after that. Okay. Let's just do slam. Let's see if we can get in the end zone. They're going zone and they're sprinting out. I'm going to go to the right. Oh, I, I didn't think about this. I'm on the right hash. That's okay. We can still call this. I'm going to try to cut up the A gap as quick as I can because you can tell there is nobody up the middle. There we go. Touchdown. Good deal. All right. We're going to tie this game up. Hopefully we can get the extra point to tie it. And there's less than two minutes to go in the half. Also remember, we get the ball at the start of the third quarter. So when you are playing these low possession games, running clock as much as you can, you think of the game in terms of possessions, not points. I, I look at it as how many possessions I can keep away from them. I think that's a smart strategy. It's worked for me. All right, we're going to go back to quarters. And I want this quarterback to keep throwing short. Maybe we can force another turnover. Going five wide. Mm. Threw it just a tad too early. 
C.T. Eldridge, 7 for 11, 131 yards passing. Not bad. Wasn't really expecting that, but he's made some good throws so far. Going four wide here. That's a good open field tackle. All right, third and three. I'm still going to go cloud. I, I can see them running it, but I'm going to take a chance. Ooh, they're going goal line. I wasn't expecting that. I'm going to call a timeout. I want to use a timeout just in case we have a chance to maybe stop in this, these guys. I'm going to do a zone blitz. It said they're going three wide. And they're not going three wide, but let's go up the middle here just in case. Nope, going passing. Wow, great defense. Galashaw. All right, that was a good timeout. Well spent. So now we get the ball with a minute and a half to go. I think what I may do is just go to half. I mean, I'm not going to try to do anything heroic here. I don't want to throw an interception or something and they get the ball back quickly and score. I don't think it's worth it. That's a good punt. All right, middle of the field. I'm just going to run the ball and just see what happens. Now they're going man, and I love their shift. It's going to be very obvious that we want to run to the right. Good block there. I'm going to stay here and let's try. I'm going to try flood. Go man. Oh, they're going man. I'm going to try this. This may be a big mistake, but I'm going to let the clock roll a little bit on this one. I'm actually going to move my tight end out. We're going to isolate him on the far left. If they go cover zero, and if Eldridge can make this throw, we can get a big gain here. This may be a mistake. I probably don't need to be throwing in this situation, but I had it on my mind, so we're going to run it. Ooh, yeah, that's that's what I... Yeah, I shouldn't have threw it. A lot of times he could get wide open, but the corner played that one great. He played that one spot on. Wow. So that's what I get. I should have just ran the ball. I should have ran out the clock to the half. So now they have a very good chance of scoring. So that's how you learn things like that. I went with my gun. It didn't work. Get him. Oh, man. There we go. They're probably called a timeout. They're going five wide. Let's do defensive line. We'll go quarters. Second and eight coming up here. Ball on the 35-yard line. Going five wide, yes. Let's see. Another interception. And a fumble. No. And they get the ball back. I should have dove. <laughs> he threw it right to me. Ah, dang it. All right, let's go back and play some more defense. Now they get a fresh set of downs. So they actually work in their favor. They're going to play action here. And I think I was in the wrong spot when he dropped it. We're going to stay in quarters. Wide open. Mm. That's just good play. Just middle linebacker wasn't there. I'm gonna take a chance to do a zone blitz. If they were smart, they would just like run up the middle. But they're running a ton of play action. I should have sacked them. That was my bad. Let's try another zone blitz. If they're going to run that much play action, we got a chance here. This will probably be a drop back. Yeah, he's got all day to throw here. Ooh. Oh, he still caught that somehow. Uh, I'm going to call a timeout. 
I think they'll do something goofy where I probably couldn't stop it. I'm going to do an all-out blitz here. I think they're going to do some type of run. I want him to throw really quick if they do throw. Bad throw. That's what we want to say. Just a, a bad throw. So it's fourth and four, and it's a miracle we're going to hold him to a field goal. Now, all this is still my fault. I shouldn't have thrown it. I should have just ran the ball earlier, and we would have went to half with a tie ball game. So if we lose by a field goal, then yeah, you definitely blame me. Still, that's great job by the defense, home like we did. But that's the reason why I wanted to blitz him hard. I wanted him to throw quick and it forced a bad throw. Now it's five seconds. Let's see if Biggers could do something here. Okay, end of the half. We'll take it down a field goal. Nobody's injured. I'm good with it. Now we can look at... Wrong one. We can look at some stats. There's not a whole lot to see. We didn't get to do a whole lot. Neither team did because I held the ball for so long. I wonder what our time of possession. Yeah, I held the ball for 7 minutes 20 seconds. But they are turning the ball over. That's what's keeping us in it. They're going to throw the ball a lot, and I'm going to try to force him in the interceptions. But overall, our I think our offense is playing great. We're running the ball halfway. It, I know it says 31 yards only, but I feel like we're running the ball well enough to keep us in it. I don't care about the individual stats. We haven't done enough. All right, let's get the ball back and run some clock, and maybe we can get down the field and score. All right, Biggers gets another chance. Good little run there. We can go... Uh, I'm going to do a P read. Get the ball here at the Come on, zone dime. I may just throw this. There's too many bodies on the left side to run it. So I may just throw this to Gallishaw. And a bad throw. And the clock stops. So we definitely need to run it this time. Let's stay here and do like halfback to wreck. Since we're still on the right hash. And that's not a very good shift. That's just perfect defense. Third and 11. I'm actually going to go back to that play action play. It worked for us last week. We got a touchdown off of third and long. And we're going zone here. We're going to motion Galashaw over. They go cover two. We're going to go to him. If not, we'll just probably go to our other tight end. Oh, oh, and he dropped it. Oh, I tried to take him over. He still dropped it. That was a good try. We'll do a sky punt. He should fair catch that. Oh, almost got a penalty. We'll get back on defense. Maybe we can force another turnover. We're running out of 4-3. Ooh, wide open. Yeah. Everybody went to the middle of the field. I'm going to take another shot. Anytime they go 11 personnel, I'm going to go ahead and do zone blitz, and it's worked fairly well for us today. And they seem dead set on throwing the ball. And now they decide to run, as soon as I say something. Had to come all the way back around to make the tackle. Gun spread. And that's a touchdown. That's way too easy. Yeah, he just had him beat big time. And now the game is starting to look like what it's supposed to look like. But maybe we could keep up with them a little bit if we get lucky on offense and can move the ball. And he taps on the extra 
points. That score leads us to our Pontiac Drive Summary. All right, let's get back on offense and see if we can do something. I'd love to be able to get a few first downs and just move the chains, move the clock. Let's see if Galshaw has a little magic in him. Nope, somebody came right on through like a heat-seeking missile. And he has gassed to no win. We'll give him a bit of a break. Let's go slam. We're going man. And they're sprinting out that way. Look out now. This defensive end is in the zone. I may let's do this. Just be a little patient with it. Get about four yards. The halfback runs for four yards. Let's do a dive from Watch Rips. They're going man for three. Let's see if they do any hard shifting. They're spreading out, so I'm gonna run to our right. Then our third down, I know exactly which play we're going to run. Because I want to get my tight end the ball at least a little bit, if I can. If they'll let me. Maybe we can find a crease up the middle here. Just not a whole lot there. Okay, so now we're going to go gun two back slot. RB deep. We're going zone, so it looks like our tight end will be able to catch the ball here if we can get it to him. We're going to let that clock roll some. Maybe St. Louis can do something with it. Get a first down, that'd be great. Let's see if CT can make a good throw. Blitz and hard. Oh, wow, big play by you know who. The man in the midst, the legend, John St. Louis. Okay, first down. We got out of bounds, so we're going to have to go ahead and snap the ball when we get it. Let's see what else we got. Uh, let's go. I'm going to do a little wrinkle, and let's do another pass play. Let's go back to tight end corner. Okay, they're going man, but they're going nickel. We're doing that. This is going to go to my tight end or to lane. It's either R1 or circle. And not a good play. Just great defense. I probably could have went to my tight end. We can go back and look at that. I didn't even pay attention to the tight end. I, he may have been wide open. They went cover. No, that was a good decision. I don't think he would have made that play. Normally, the halfback can get good separation, but their defense was all over this one. So, good job by them making a play there. All right, second and 11. Let's go back here and do a toss play. We're going zone. We're doing that. I will. Well, let's run to the left. Then we'll have to do something on third down. Perfect defense. Just lost a ton of yardage. So now we got to think about a third and long. I want to go to Ace Trips. I have something on my mind. Let's go to, where's it at? Stretch. We'll go with Stretch. They are going zone. We're going to take a chance here. I mean, the game is the game is probably done with. So we got to take a chance at least a little bit on a third and long. I probably need to run in here, but we'll go ahead and throw. We may have a chance. We're going to try to give this to Biggers. If they'll let us. And a drop. Ah. That was a good throw. I threw it maybe a little too late. I probably should have threw it right there. I kind of did, but their strong safety is really good. All right, it was worth a shot. I may turn that into my uh, right hash third and along if needed. So unfortunately, we didn't get to run much clock there because our passing just didn't help us much. We either dropped a pass or what have you. Our tight end got a first down for us, but that's about it. CT, this, I tell you what, that gives me hope. CT is making some really good throws. Ow, that's a good play right there. That's just a shallow cross play action out of gun trips. 
All right, we'll do a zone blitz. Please do not run to the right. And they went right up the gut where there was nobody there. You take a chance, you know. Back to quarters we go. The boiler maker. Come out the shotgun. Another P. E. Reed, and I can't defend him, both him and the halfback. Somebody has to cover both, and I couldn't do both. That's why those P. E. Reeds are so good. We'll go back to quarters at a four-three this time. It's a good tackle, but still got the yards they needed. All right, fourth quarter, we're only down 10, but they're about to score and really pull away here with a victory. So I'll try to make it manageable and not look like it was a, a killing because they can get to that point, and he's wide open. Well, that guy can get to him as well. <laughs> it didn't make a difference. So now my goal on offense is try to run the ball, move clock if we can. I'd love to run as much clock as possible in the fourth to make it look like we only got beat by 17 or perhaps less. Biggers has a – he got to touch the ball a couple times on offense, but – like, we can try something here. Just, nah. I could have just went touchback on that one. Let's do halfback lead. We're going man. I need to know, see, I don't know if this will work. We'll try it. We'll go audibles. I'm pretty sure it's L1 for me. Yeah, it's L1. We could try this, but you look, I probably should have called this on second down instead. But we'll try this. And even Biggers can't hear that. So this is going to be a busted play. So I'm just going to go ahead and call a timeout. If my own guy can't even, impact guy can't even hear that, then I don't need to call it. Let's just run slam for my twins. That's not a good spread. We can go to our right instead. Nothing there. We can try. If I can get to it, let's do a toss. We're going man. We may have a chance here, depending on the shift. No shift this time. We're still going to run to the left because we got all this grass to play with, and we got the numbers, technically. And then we'll just try something on third and long, unless we get some good blocking here. Not a very good pitch. And we got out of bounds. So, it is third and four. We can try RB deep again. We're going zone, so at least our tight end will catch it. I was a little worried it was going to be a man, then Whitaker was going to have to get it. All right, the clock has stopped, so we can go ahead and snap it. Oh, just enough. You keep tapping. What I've done here was as soon as he caught the ball and he's caught up like this, keep pressing the X button as many times as possible, as fast as you can. It helps that he's an impact guy, so he was able to break that tackle. And we got the first. Okay, good play there. Let's try. Let's try triple wide receiver option again. All right, they're going man, so we're going to keep this and see if we can do something with Galashaw. Problem is they're going nickel and they got a corner just sitting right over there. We'll continue to run clock. We're down 17 with four minutes to go. I'm not going to try to attempt to win this game. If I do that, they'll probably score a couple more touchdowns. So it doesn't seem worth it. And I couldn't get it off in time. He got to me in time. I just couldn't do it. It's just good defense. All right, we'll do a toss play before we'd have to do something on third and long. 
So I'm definitely – see, it, this is a weird shift. This is what I like about this offense. You're going to see some unique stuff. I'm going to run to the right, even though they shifted their defensive line that way, but they only got like one guy blocking on that side. And just good defense. I was hoping the juke him and it didn't work. Third and 15. I'm going to go back to our play action play. They may go man and we can get some – you get to see some really exciting stuff, but no, they keep calling zone against it. This is one of the few times I'll motion. Maybe they'll go cover two, cover three. Either way, I'm going to try to give the him or our tight end. Getting down to a couple of seconds. They are going back to cover two. And he dropped it. Ah. But he doesn't have good hands anyway, so... I shouldn't expect any more than that. So we got like a couple minutes off the clock, kind of, sort of, but we didn't get anywhere. And I didn't do my sky punt. I guess I should have just kept running the ball, but that's a terrible punt. They got amazing field position, but at least he didn't get an easy touchdown. We'll do a one high since we're going goal line for whatever reason. Get a stop there. We'll go back. We'll just stay with the same play. Get it down to just a few seconds. Pick up the first with the fullback. I wish they would just run out the clock and end the game. That'd be nice. And that's maybe what they're trying to do here. So I advise you not to judge our offense based on this. I mean, because we're going up against a team that's just so much better than us. It'll get better. We had a lot of drop passes today. We could have had some big gains in the passing game. And gets another first down. We'll do a one high to nickel this time. I expect him to run it again. It's weird. It says they was going four wide, but they're going with an 11 personnel. And I took a terrible angle on that one. And they still get the touchdown. Oh, well. I should have known they was going to call the halfback off tackle play. That's like the only good run play in that formation that's out of speed option. We probably could have saved a touchdown or two. If we'd have had a couple of those catches come back, you know, because Biggers dropped one, Gallishaw dropped one. They got hit when they try to catch it. And we'll let that one go. Let's go here and run a dive out of trips. We'll just run out the clock, but we'll still run it. Hopefully we don't fumble it. Now this makes perfect sense. We want to run to our right. And they just plug that gap up. No, I mean, look at, okay. Let's snap the ball here and look at this right there. Look how big that hole is. The problem is that defensive tackle just wrecked that guard. But for about a millisecond, it looked really good. So when I get more talent, we're going to be able to hit that B gap and get some big gains, but not in a game like this. We could do a toss play. We're going to zoom. Hard shift. Now, this is a, a play we, we have to motion our fullback. If we don't, he'll get in the way of that play. 
or of the pitch. So I'm going to motion him over right before we snap it. Still didn't get anything out of it. But if I would have left him over there, he probably would have got right in the middle of that pitch. That's just good defense, though. They ran cover two, and that corner was just sitting there. Third and nine. I thought the attempt. Hmm. Let's do our slot reverse. They're, oh, they're going man. We may actually may have a chance here. It works a whole lot better against man than zone, but look at the problem. They, they shifted everybody and their brother to that side. We'll call it anyways. Hopefully he won't fumble it. He may get some yards. Nope, actually lose some yardage. All right, 31 to 7. I sort of expected. First half was great, but second half they just pulled away. They were just too much for us. We can check some stats. There won't be a whole lot there to see. The biggest thing was a couple of those drop passes really could have hurt us. Could have helped us if they were caught. If you go to... We, he went 6 for 12, but several of those... Like, we go to the pat receiving. We had two big drop passes. Biggers on that third and long over the middle. If that was caught, we could have sustained that drive. And Galashaw had that one where he just dropped it. But he doesn't have the best hands in the world, so I guess that could be expected. But either way, I, I have no opinions on this game whatsoever. Other than... I thought our running game, it appeared to do okay for what it was, even though we only ran the ball for 31 yards. But you can see the potential. You just got to get better players in here. It is what it is. So we'll fight through it for the next season or so. And this offense will really look good down the line. So we have Kentucky coming up next. They run a 3-4, so we're going to run a lot more dives, a lot more A-gap stuff. And maybe we could pull off an upset there. So the next video, I'm going to go back to our Madden Cap series, and I may, I don't know, I may create a play from scratch or a couple plays. I thought about doing a series on, like, the air raid offense would be like a very simple offense to create in that game. It should be no problem for me to do so. I thought about doing, like, a little series on me creating that playbook from scratch. I think that's, that sounds like a pretty cool idea. And you would see me, how I would go about doing that step by step. So I may be doing that. That video may be posted on Monday if I had to guess. We'll just see how that goes. All right, guys. I'll talk to you later.